What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest, one of our internal employees, Rebecca. Boom, Rebecca, introduce yourself to the world for us. Hey, I'm Rebecca Antoine. I am an analyst within customer care, and I've been with JD Finish Line for three years. Nice, three years. That's a long time. I just started last year. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. You know, let's get into it for these special episodes for Black History Month. So talk to us about, you know, the importance of social justice and what it means to you and especially how brands like Finish Line or even just across the world have been supporting that cause. Right. Um, so off top, social justice is tremendously important to me right now. Um, kind of like as a kid growing up in inner city youth, um, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, I grew up at a youth center, community youth center there locally, and it's always been a part kind of ingrained in me to um, kind of have those ties back to the community, right? And so kind of growing up in that atmosphere as an adult, I've always wanted to stay connected, but Mm -hmm. that sense of, you know, community and and me being a part of the change, really got enlightened last year when we started going through, you know, the heightened awareness of the social injustice and everything. Right. Um, so it just caused me to want to kind of tap back into my roots and find ways that even just on my level, you know, um, day to day, um, just get involved like any way possible that mm-hmm. I can support that fight, whether it's through awareness, whether it's through volunteering, whether it's through donations, um, things like that. Um, so for me, that's where the fight for me starts. For sure. And then talk to us about, I know you've been really adamant or just taking like a, you know, a conscious effort to support Black-owned businesses. So talk to us about why that means so much to you. Um, a part of the awareness piece, right? Mm-hmm. Um one of the things that I did when everything started to kind of come full circle, like this time last year, uh, was put together a list of companies and businesses um, and brands that support, you know, racial justice solidarity. And I shared that with, you know, my team members amongst leadership within my JD Finish Line family, as well as with, you know, my family, my peers, Uh, my friends, um, just to get them educated. You know, a lot of times when things like this happen, it's not that people don't want to know. I think it's just that they don't know. And education, educating people on it um, really brings awareness to the the bigger issues. So kind of creating that list of companies and organizations that are in support of this fight was for me the initial step. And then from there, it was kind of like getting the ball rolling. Like I support black owned businesses and minority owned businesses. I try to strategically um, and consciously support them consistently um, on a monthly basis, whether it's, you know, visiting TJ's Sweet Tooth, um, you know, on the north side of town locally or, you know, R&R Extreme Wings or, you know, Chef Tia's. Um, Just try to, you know, I don't know those restaurants, but they sound good. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, they locals here in Indianapolis, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? But um, even on a a U.S. scale, you know, I strategically, you know, try to support Black-owned businesses, even to the point of buying, like, the end systemic racism, the ESR tote from Brandon Blackwood, who's in New York City, his brand, you know? just doing things like that to support and empower our culture Mm -hmm. and just again using a platform like social media to share about these things and engage and empower um and bring support to that you know their platforms um Mm -hmm. because this is we we need allies right we need allies we need to bridge the gap of misunderstanding for sure even though last week when we had Charlotte he mentioned like just being equity and having access to like capital really makes us, you know, brings us as far as 
closing that financial gap. So being able to do what you're doing and support, supporting like black owned businesses goes a long way, especially when it comes to people who come from communities like you and I and go and, you know, just give them access to capital. So yeah, that's something I try to do as well and make a conscious effort of doing too. So last question for you is, I know you've been, you know, doing a lot of volunteering. So talk to us about some of the organizations you've been working with. So volunteering, of course, true to my JD Finish Line family, I love to participate in like our Finish Line um, JD Youth Foundation events. So whether it's through Kaboom, um, where we're building the playgrounds for kids, or it's through um, Bowl for Kids, things like that. Um, COD Center for Leadership Development, that's for the youth in local Indianapolis, um, Indiana, that's for our youth, you know, just teaching them development, pro professional skills, mm -hmm. um, setting them up for educational um, success, right? Things like that. Um, and then as well as just doing donations to different campaigns for causes that matter to me, whether that be for Campaign Zero on, um, you know, around police brutality, just, you know, improving, improving that and ending that. Um, and then as well as color of change. Uh, that's another one that I like to support as well. And that's just in regards to, they design campaigns that speak to social justice issues. No, yeah, it's a beautiful thing you're doing. And, you know, hopefully with this conversation, you inspire other people to do the same. So Rebecca, I'll let you have the last word. You want to shout out your store, shout out your <laughs> restaurants, your friends and all that. You know, the floor is yours to, you know, say your piece. No, nah, um, I will give a plug. I'm wearing a uh, Shamaika Chanel. Mm -hmm. So it says, let us live. And that goes for the whole thing about we're talking about, you know, equality, right? right. So across the board and, you know, she's an up and coming designer. So just strategically, you know, finding ways on whatever level you're on to yeah. just get involved with your community and engage and support and let's unify and just understand that, you know, in order for all lives to matter, Black lives have to matter. Yeah. And that's just, you know, across the board. So it's all in love. It's all in support. Just, you know, educate yourselves, educate yourselves and share that with those around you in order to be empowering and be an influence to those around you. Definitely, for sure. Education is key. Yeah. And I appreciate the opportunity, for sure, to be able to ah, share. The pleasure that. is mine. You know, the pleasure is definitely mine. Again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to speak with us, Rebecca, and you know, looking forward to the work you're going to be doing. All right. Right on. Thank you. Cool. All right. Take care. You too. All right.